starting it on Monday. Right. Excited about that. Right. Uh, and so thrilled that you've got an incredible lineup and a very special guest who's going to be joining you on this first show. That's right. So future is bright, first show starting next mm -hmm. week. Who Who is your first guest? Well, as you know, the Autism Society of America is celebrating their 50th anniversary. Yes. So we are bringing in the president, mm -hmm. and he is, his name is Scott B uh, Badish, Badish yes. and he's coming in to talk about the whole history of one of the original you know, organizations for autism yes. that has been around. It's the grassroots organization across America that now has affiliates in almost every state. Some states have more than one. Mm -hmm. And the Autism Society of America has been known for providing resources and support and information for years and years where you can go to their site and pull it, basically whatever you need, anything yeah. you can think of. And so Scott's going to come in and give pretty much a history of the organization and what they're up to. Uh, they have a conference coming up in, I think, June mm -hmm. in Denver, and so he'll give a little information about that and some of the exciting programs that they have to offer. And so I think he has some, some new... Yeah, he's he's an amazing guy. We've had Scott on the show before, um, but never in the studio. So this yeah. is the first time that I'm going to get to meet him. Very charismatic. Yes. Very nice man and an interesting history. Yes. I, I'll let him share his own history. Okay. I don't want to steal his thunder. Right. He's a really fun. But we guy know to talk to. we know from him being on the show before that he's a dad, he's a and dad. Uh, of, of an individual who's on the autism spectrum mm -hmm. and really. Um, a very sharp gentleman. For, for those of you who are watching, one of the reasons why we wanted to pair with Autism Society of America to do this show is that they are an amazing organization. They do a lot of work. They do it across the entire country, but they don't get enough uh, publicity. They're sort of, you know, sometimes... Uh, there, there, it's uh, well. I will say that there, there are other organizations who we're also partnering with. Let's say that sure, that get sure. a lot more publicity and hype around them. It's like this. It's like when you have a celebrity, uh -huh. and the celebrity steps onto the red carpet, and every and paparazzi's there to take the pictures, and so the celebrity's photo goes into every big magazine, yeah. and then you have the managers and the publicists who yes. do all of the work, yeah. but they're behind the scenes. They're like the producers behind <laughs> the scenes. If I could liken that, yes. I would say that the Autism Society of America is like that. They're behind the scenes, busily working yes. with their, all of the affiliates are volunteer led. Mm -hmm. They're parents and professionals and uh, people from the you know community leaders. Yeah. Every single affiliate is like that. And so they come together under this national organization and they're just working yeah. like mad people to put together information to then disseminate to individuals and families who are, who are struggling or living with autism to try to help them have better lives and better quality of life. And they get no, almost no recognition for it. <laughs> it's true. But they are out there. And I'll tell you, I took a trip out to Washington, D.C. to meet the first time, the second time that I met Scott. Mm -hmm. And he was fabulous. He took me, we met senators, we were there during their national conference to go and to push for legislation that helps all families with mm -hmm. autism in the school system and so forth. And again, they really get no acknowledgement, no pat on the back, but they keep going. Yeah. And they've been doing this for 50 years. Yeah. And, and the big difference is that we're used to have one in, let's say, 10,000 people diagnosed, yeah. children diagnosed with autism. Now you're at, as you know, one in 68. Yeah. Back when it used to be one in 10,000, a diagnosis like that meant institutionalization. It was a horrible kind of... Uh, it's it, devastating it was devastating to a family. Yeah, yeah, a family just, it was... It was the. It just felt like the end. Yeah. Now, when you get a diagnosis like that, you know that your child has employment opportunities yes. and the future. That's why I think that's why we're calling this show "The Future Is Bright" yeah. because it it really is. The possibilities are almost infinite. You have education, secondary education, employment opportunities. You can be an artist. You can go on television. You can do yeah. anything that anyone else can do. You just need the right support early and the right group of people with you. And that's what all of these different organizations do, be it American, you know, the, the uh, Autism Society of America, whether it's CARD, whether it's this show, they're just 
so many methods of support and they're all trying to do the same thing yes and now you see why she is just going to be so fabulous at this could we have somebody better doing this i think so well put and i and i i what a wonderful analogy that they're like the managers and the producers so you can see why we're wanting to showcase and give them a little bit more attention thank you and 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 thank you for being a great new spokesperson for them and for all of us and for taking this on for saying for looking and saying I see a need here and I'm not walking away from it I want to get involved how many times have we all said to ourselves we need to get people who aren't you know on the front line with a kid sure. who's on the autism spectrum we need to get our aunts and our uncles mm-hmm. and our best friends and the business owners in our community and and this is what stephanie has seen and said i'm jumping it your friend mm-hmm. who sort of inspired all this must mm-hmm. be so proud of you she's a great person she's uh, my best friend from college mm-hmm. who started this center uh, I, when i went to law school she went to get her masters mm-hmm. and she has always been fabulous with children. She is like a big kid. She has the biggest heart and she's by far just the most pure of heart. Mm -hmm. And she loves children. Mm -hmm. And they light up when she walks into the room. And I can't imagine, um, you know, if I take a look at this from sort of the 30,000 feet kind of view, Mm -hmm. this is a great way to get involved with as many people as possible and just just bring a really positive outlook to people who sometimes the parents are and professionals are so in the trenches Mm -hmm. and feel bogged down by maybe what might feel like negativity and and there's certainly enough of that yeah so let so the future is bright let's look at the positive wonderful things that are afoot